Well, it's great to be here today, not just as a Buffalonian, but as part of a, of a national movement. All right. All right. Two years ago in Albany, we had a, a long, drawn-out, bitter fight. You know what that fight yielded? It yielded three years of minimum wage increases from $7.25 an hour to $8 an hour for this year. And then on January 1st, we boosted it to $8.75. Then at the end of 15 and beginning of 16, we're gonna go to $9 an hour. We fought hard for that. It took two years. And when we got done with the fight, we went, uh, that's it? Because even though we got that wage increase, we know that wasn't enough. But you know what? There was even a worse, bitter taste in your mouth because it turns out that in order to get certain elected officials to vote on to this, to get this passed, we had to include a subsidy to go back to the big box realtors and the fast food giants to reimburse them for every penny they paid an employee above $7.25 an hour. So people got a modest wage increase, but CDS got a subsidy. Guess who gave them that subsidy? Eden. Something's not right here. So it was a hollow, hollow victory. But we know the basic premise. It's Harry Truman's square deal. You know what the square deal is? You take the American dream, you do your job, you work your eight hour day, you work your 40 hour week, and you'll have enough money to put a roof over your head, feed your kids, take care of your medical bills, and go on vacation once a year. Is anyone working 40 hours a week at this company getting a square deal? No! Where have we come to in America that companies like Sodexo, Marriott, Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, McDonald's, their whole premise is on the broken deal because no one who works for those companies will ever make enough money to put a roof on their head. That's right. Now there's myths. There's myths here. You think, well, increase in minimum wage, that's bad for Main Street. That's bad for the small businesses. But you know who's paying to get that message out? The big businesses. Last year, before I voted on the minimum wage, I went up and down Elmwood Avenue. We stopped the businesses. I asked them, pay minimum wage? I can't pay minimum wage. I'd be losing people left, right, and center. Go to the next small store. You pay minimum wage? No, I can't pay minimum wage. I'd have to be spending so much money on, on my HR department. We'd be rolling the place, place employees over. You know the only one who I stopped in to said they paid minimum wage? Rite Aid Corporation. <laughs> A huge corporation worth hundreds of millions of dollars. They pay less than the pizzerias on Main Street do. So that's the big myth. It's the big myth of, of Main Street. Uh, but the real, real people who are trying to block the minimum wage, the real people who benefit from the low wage is Wall Street. So we have a pretty simple request. We need to go to $15 an hour. And that might at first glance seem like, gee, that's a lot of money. But you may only think that's a lot of money because we've had a decade of wage stagnation. A decade of stagnation. Is $15 minimum wage, you know what it'll do? It'll kickstart the economy. Because they call that money with high velocity. Money with high velocity. It's going to go into a worker's pocket and it's going to come out real quick to take care of the necessity. And that's good for Main Street. It's very good for Main Street. And think of this another way. It might be true that if we have $15 minimum wage, do we achieve that? A hamburger might cost more. And you think, is that good for the consumer? Yeah. You know, you gotta hold on, you say, maybe that's not good for the consumer. But you know what, it's good for the consumer. There's gonna be an offset. Because right now, every one of your consumers contribute billions of dollars every year to subsidies to keep the low-wage businesses going. And that's through food stamps, Child Health Plus, Medicaid, and health, uh, sorry, child care allowances. So, I'd gladly pay a couple more cents for a cheeseburger if my federal taxes could go down so I can stop subsidizing big companies. Yes. So we're going to keep together, we're going to keep fighting for it. And let's hear it for the bravery of the workers today who are out here today. Let's give it up.